what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so in this video i'm going to be talking again about scream 5 and when we could get that trailer or the first teaser or the first look at what we could see from this film and just talk about kind of what i think should be shown in the upcoming teaser or trailer whatever comes out so we know that we have a quiet place 2 that i believe has been pushed up to being released in may instead of later on this year after it got pushed up instead of being pushed out so one of the greater things that have happened this year the movie got pushed up we know that's a paramount pictures distribution film and that seems like the most likely time frame in me to my to me anyway that we would see uh the trailer for screen five i think when a quiet place 2 debuts in theaters that'll be when we see screen 5's teaser trailer whatever i believe they have started what looks like because people have been sending it to me i don't know if reshooting has actually taken place or if they're underway in wilmington north carolina i don't know if reshoots are actually going on um i know that was a rumor last month that they were going to do reshoots this month in march so it, i guess it seems like it's happening from what people have been sending my way i don't know if that's actually from reshooting or if that's just things from the set back when filming first started uh if anyone has any clarity on that go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section because i can't see anything else pointing towards there being reshoots going on but i do think a trailer for screen 5 will be attached to a quiet place 2 when that's released in theaters i think that's the most likely time we'll get to see something for uh screen 5 i think that's the most likely time we'll get to see our first look at ghostface and all these new characters all these new victims get to see our legacy characters again and what should be shown in the trailer of course is not going to be anything that's overly spoilerish uh sydney prescott that's a must Sydney Prescott is a must I think honestly you would want to wait until the end to show Sydney Prescott I think that would be even better don't show her early on in the teaser let her be the last thing like to excite people that's the last shot you get in this teaser this first look at screen five is a shot of Nev Campbell back in the role of Sydney Prescott I think that would be a great way to end our first look at the film to get us amped and get us excited because I know people are going to be instantly looking to see their first look at Sydney when they turn the teaser on so you give them something to look forward to as the teaser is playing out and it's showing characters that are new and they're fresh uh maybe we have dewey in there maybe we have have gail shown in there but sydney is not shown until the very end even though the film is not about sydney uh the teaser should do a very good job of making it aware that it's not about sydney so I think that's another thing that should become very clear through a teaser, letting it be known that this film is not going to necessarily be all about Sydney Prescott. She's no longer at the center of things. She's just going to be involved in it somehow. And then she'll be the final thing we see in the teaser to let people who haven't been staying up to date on this, the more, the more casual people who are just waiting to see what happens they get to see this last shot of the teaser and it's Nev Campbell back at Sydney Prescott. Just a way to get people more excited for it. I think that'd be a clever way to end the trailer or the teaser, whatever it is. And I think other things that should be shown in, of course, are the new batch of characters. We get to see the new Meeks kids, uh, Randy's niece and nephew. Maybe we get to see... I doubt they'll show, I doubt they'll show Heather Mataraz. I don't think they're going to show Martha because if I'm not mistaken, Martha has even been announced as being a part of the film officially because again, Melissa Barrera, she wasn't supposed to reveal that, uh, you guys caught her slipping and screenshotted it before she could take it down. So we already know they have plans to bring her back. And that's just kind of like another thing to keep in mind. We don't even have Heather Mataraz a part of the official cast. I don't think her name was listed anywhere when the official cast got announced. She's going to be in the film, but her name was not mentioned for a reason because she's supposed to be a surprise, which should be another hint that we have other surprises down the road. Anyone that wants to still remain hopeful for Kirby, you have that to hold on to. But I don't think they'll show Heather Matarazzo's character in the trailer. I think we'll get to mostly just see uh, Randy's niece and nephew. We'll get to see the, the Carpenter sisters, Sam and Tara. We'll get to see or get a clear indication of, of whether or not this story is going to be mostly about Tara or or Sarah or Sam. Uh, I think it's honestly going to be about Tara. T Jenna Ortega is going to be the new Sydney. I think that's what's going to happen. I think Jenna Ortega will be, her character will be set up to be the new Sydney in this film. And then going forward, maybe 
depending on what happens. But I think in this film here, we'll be focusing on the character of Tara more than Sam. Sam will still be important to what's going on with Tara, but not as important as Tara herself. Because it seems like there's a lot of things that will happen that will just revolve around Tara. Not only her sister coming back to town, but she has an ex-girlfriend or a current girlfriend. And then all these other things that are happening with her. She has these group of friends that are going to be at the center of it with her with this new Ghostface killing spree. So we'll just probably get to see all of them in the trailer, of course, just to get us initiated with them in a way to see how they interact with each other, what we can expect to see them and how we can expect them to interact throughout the film. Maybe there'll be a dash of comedy in there, too. Just a slight comedic comedic moment in the teaser. Or maybe it'll just be full fledged, serious teaser that is showing us that this is going to be a completely different style for this film or from this franchise. I don't think they're going to not have any comedic aspects to it in the film itself, but the trailer for the first Scream in itself didn't really have too many comedic elements to it. I don't think many of these trailers had comedic elements to it other than I would say Scream 4. If you want to say if any of the trailers had comedic aspects to them, I would say it would be Scream 4 would be the closest. But, uh... We could get something comedic in the trailer for Screen 5, the first look at it anyway, but I think they'll probably save that for the actual film itself and just let us know that we're getting a full-fledged horror film this time around with the teaser and the trailers that come out. So, of course, we'll get to see Ghostface in action. Hopefully, we get to see the new Ghostface robe in action and get to see who and how, not necessarily who we know who is behind the uh, costume this time as far as like the stunt person anyway we'll get to see Ghostface in in the flesh get to see this costume once again get to see how things might be different on it see how it's been updated uh maybe we'll get to see those things that they've been talking about and teasing David Arquette talked about these new gadgets that have been implemented in Ghostface's repertoire or in the costume itself I guess so who knows maybe we'll see that highlighted in the teaser but I don't think they'll show too many things that'll give us a clear indication of where the story's going. Other than, of course, it won't be about Sydney Prescott this time around. She'll just be here. Uh, but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications and never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. Down in the comment section, I'm going to have a link to the Facebook group. You go ahead and join that if you want to stay up to date on anything horror-related or if you just want to discuss horror with other people in that group in general uh, or just to talk about anything movie-wise. But with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.